What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you guys are like me, then you probably ran out of storage space on your device more than just a couple of times, especially if you're on an eight gigabyte or 16 gigabyte device. So what I wanted to do in this video is show you guys how to quickly and easily free up some of that space on your device using an application called Phone Expander. Now keep in mind Phone Expander is only a Mac application, it's not going to work on Windows, but if I find something that's similar to Phone Expander for Windows, then I'll be sure to link that in the description below. Now to download this application, all you need to do is click on the link in the description below and it's a direct link to the download, so you don't have to click on anything else, just click on the link and it should automatically download. So once you install that, all you wanna do is open it right up. So we're gonna do just that. So this is Phone Expander right here, so I'm just gonna hit enter. And then since this is a beta, you will need to enter your email right here. So you can either opt in for this or not, I'm not going to. And I'm just gonna put in my email right here. So all this is is allowing them to email you when the official product comes to market. So again, like this is beta, so it's free. But once this is actually released, it is gonna cost money. I don't know how much, but this is a good way to actually test out this application before paying for it if you decide to do so. So just click OK, and then all you need to do is make sure your device is connected. So you can see right here that my device is 54% full. And you'll notice that we can clear temporary files, we can remove applications directly from this app, you can also clear photos, and coming soon, we'll be able to clear music, which I don't have much on there anyways. So I'm just gonna start over here at clear temporary file. So if we click on this, you can see that it's going to load up all of the names of the applications and then the size of the temporary files that it has for that specific application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let this load up before we clear it out. All right, so you can see right here that we have 128 caches all right here. And you'll notice that TweetBot has the most. This is uh, sorted by highest to lowest, so we have 193 megs of cache in TweetBot, and as we scroll through here, you can see how all that is allocated. So we're just gonna go ahead and click clear 128 caches, so you can see that's gonna free up 612 megabytes. So we're just gonna click on that, and it shouldn't take too long, but it's really gonna depend on how much you're actually clearing up. So just give it some time and let it complete. And one thing to mention, this is not going to delete your usernames or passwords. All right, so you can see right here that we just cleared up 458 megabytes. You'll notice the discrepancy between that 458 and the 612 that was down here. Uh, I mean, this is more of an estimate that's usually down here. So this is gonna be the actual space that's been cleared. So you can just click Finish. And then we're gonna go over to Remove Apps. So I have a lot of applications on my device a lot that I could probably get rid of and be just fine with. So I'm just gonna let these load up and then I'm gonna clear out of applications that I don't really want on my device anymore. All right, so the apps are done loading up. Uh, I'm gonna actually get rid of iMovie. I never use it. I never use GarageBand. I never use Keynote. I'm gonna keep pages and numbers just in case I ever do need that. But scrolling back down through here, two dots, I don't really need that. I need sheets, uh, ways, let's see. I don't even use one password. I'm gonna get rid of that. Threes, never play that. Cyberdust, never open to that. Uh, let's keep going through here. Get rid of that. Get rid of Yelp. I don't know what that is. I don't even know how I got it on my device. Uh, need iHeartRadio, I don't need that. Live Extra, I use that for the Super Bowl. So you can see, I mean, you just scroll through here and then you're gonna delete the applications that you don't really ever use. I don't use that, I don't use that, Team Viewer. And then once you're done, we'll just stop right there, I guess. Uh, I don't need that, and I don't need this. We'll stop right there for the time being. But you can see right here that it's going to tell you how many applications that you have checked. So I have 16, and this is going to delete 2.29 gigs. So let's go ahead and remove those just by clicking that. And this is just a little bit easier, possibly, uh, way to manage your applications rather than you know doing it directly on your device by tapping and holding to get into wiggle mode and then swiping through and hitting the X. I mean, this is just another way of doing that exact same thing. So. It just really depends on your preference. If you want to do this, you know, with a maybe a little bit better UI and possibly a little bit easier, then you can do it through this application right here. All right, so it's finished. And again, you can see that the number down here was a little bit different than this. In this case, it was actually a little bit more. We have 2.69 gigs 
that we freed up. So I'm just gonna click finish, and then if you want to, you can actually clear photos as well. I'm not gonna do that just because I don't wanna delete photos, and I have still a ton of uh, space on my device. I probably still have around 30 gigs. So that's not something that I need to get into, but if you do, then you can easily go into your photos just by clicking on this, and then you can actually remove files older than a specific time frame. So you can see right here, you can go three months, six months, one year, or two years. So you can just delete basically the photos or videos older than the time frame that you set. So if you wanted to delete everything older than one year in terms of videos and photos, you would just tick both of these and then click back up and remove just right there. Of course, the further you go to the right, the bigger this is going to get. So you can see 3.46 gigs. But again, I don't really need to do that just because I have plenty of space on my device right now. So that's really all there is to it. If you want to check this out, be sure to click on the link in the description below and test it out for yourself and see how much space you can actually free up. If you free up a lot, let me know how much space you saved in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.